Hello, and welcome to this episode of Code Evolution. In this video, we will cover automating your TypeScript compilation using Gulp. For those of you unfamiliar with Gulp, it is a popular streaming JavaScript task runner that's commonly used in more complicated build environments. Taking over from the last video, I've made some small modifications to prepare us for using Gulp, as well as using TypeScript to create our Gulp file. So in this case, by indicating that the only file that the TypeScript compiler should compile is gulpfile.ts, it avoids the built-in compiler or command line compiler from compiling your entire project, therefore allowing you to delegate the rest of the compilation to gulp or any other task runner. In order to take advantage of types when building your gulp file, you'll need to import gulp's type declaration. You could download Gulp's type declaration file and manually add it to your project, but I'm going to be using a utility called TSD. Now, if you don't already have TSD installed, you simply need to go npm install tsd-g, and that will install the TypeScript definition utility for you to use at any time during any of your projects. So a quick tip about using TSD, if you're looking for a specific type declaration, you can simply type TSD query, and then whatever you're looking for, it's going to look it up and see if it's in its registry. In this case, it is. So we're simply going to go TSD install. Now what that's done is it went ahead and created a typings folder. It added a TSD JSON to include the dependencies for this particular project. And it added a TSD declaration file. So you can simply point to one file and get all of your typings. The topic of type declarations and how they're installed in your project is an evolving one. So this is just one way of doing it. Going forward, you're probably going to see a lot more usage of true imports versus using the reference style comments. So moving on, we can now import gulp. By adding the reference comment, we allow WebStorm and TypeScript to understand where the type declarations for Gulp are. And as you saw, there was a red underline under the require Gulp that eventually went away after I added the reference. So next up, we need to do another install. Gulp TypeScript is the more commonly used plugin for Gulp and compiling TypeScript. And as you can see here, it's added the reference to our type declaration file. Now, before we get ahead of ourselves, we need to actually install these things as actual node modules. Otherwise, nothing's going to work. So first step, we npm init. Next step, we npm install gulp. And then gulp TypeScript. And then if we look at our package JSON, we can see that the dependencies were added. One more setup step we need to do is include Node.js as part of our type declarations. Now back to our Gulp file. To simplify things, we're actually going to change this to TSD so that we get all the references in one. Now we can add Gulp TypeScript. Now with everything installed, we can simply Now what you see here is legitimate TypeScript code that is compiling TypeScript. You get all the beauty of types. So as you saw me typing, it did a lot of autocomplete and IntelliSense for me. And you can visually see that everything is working as you expect. In this case, notice the green check mark in the upper right corner in WebStorm. Now you may run into issues where certain type declaration files are missing. So in order to make sure that you're getting all of the dependencies for each type declaration, you need to use the resolve flag. And we'll go look here. And all the errors are gone. 
So the next thing is to verify that this all works. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to delete the disk folder. But before we continue, there's an issue with this code that needs to be fixed. I did not specify all TS files underneath source. Now with that in place, we can simply go down to terminal, type gulp, TypeScript, and that did it. So we're going to refresh the tree here, and voila, we have our TypeScript files transpiled by gulp to JavaScript. So the next thing we want to do is add a default task. This way, if you type gulp and nothing else, it runs it for you anyway. So to make things even easier, I'm going to show you how to configure WebStorm to trigger this with one click. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open this up and create default. This is going to initialize the configurations required to instruct WebStorm to build via gulp. Once you've done that, now you have a button that allows you to fire off gulp tasks. After you've done that, the toolbar is available. So you can right click on the gulp file and go down to this menu here and click show gulp tasks. And now your gulp tasks are part of a toolbar slash window that's integrated with WebStorm. This runner is now unnecessary and I can edit the configuration and remove it. So now I can trigger TypeScript directly by double clicking. And if I want at this point, I can even remove the default task. And once you've changed your task in here, you can just hit this refresh button. And there you go. So at this point, you might be saying, whoa, that was a lot. And it was complicated. And there was all these things that I needed to do. And well, what if I need to do more stuff? Like what if I need to use source maps? Or what if I need to minify my code? Well, I admit that was actually a lot of stuff. And it gets even more complicated the more you try to do things. So I came up with a utility that makes this much easier. For now, I hope this video covered enough of the basics to get started using Gulp and TypeScript. In the next video, we'll cover using that utility and how to make your life a bit easier when you're doing more complicated tasks like minification and source maps.